Hey friends, it's Ramona. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, same day, same schlumpy after work look. Um, plus it's getting a little warm in here. It's kind of warm here in Wolfville. I don't have AC in this house, but it has these heat exchanger things, which I haven't figured out how to work yet, but I'm going to have to figure it out soon because it's getting warm. But anyway, today we have a candle haul. So I've not bought candles in quite some time. Uh, when I lived in Houston, I definitely burned more candles. I would, might have one going in the in the kitchen, in the downstairs bath, in the living room, maybe one in the bedroom upstairs, but at least, you know, three different rooms. I could easily have three different candles going, you know, but whatever. Anyway, uh, it's just kind of one kind of big space out there. So I just generally have one going at a time and not all the time. So it takes me a long time to get through a candle now. So, but anyway, last week there was a sale at Bath and Body Works and I think they were $12.95 here in Canada, if I'm not mistaken. And so I did buy some um, spring summer scents in my closet. I seem to have more like fall, winter or bakery kind of thing. So I thought I should um, just pick up a few candles like any excuse will do, right? So the first one is Wildberry Jam Donuts, speaking of bakery. And this has like a nice, uh, cute little um, like pressed tin lid, although it's not really pressed tin, but anyhow. Um, and the scent notes, I did pull out my readers for this because even with my contacts, it's super duper small. Okay, Wildberry Donut is um, sweet Wildberry Jam, powdered donut and brown sugar crumble. I'm definitely getting the blackberry or wildberry, definitely wildberry. The berry note, is it blackberry? Did I read blackberry? Why did I say blackberry? I did say blackberry. Just a second. Oh, wildberry. Okay, whatever. It smells like blackberry. It's more of a, it's not a sweet berry. It's not a strawberry. Like to me, my nose says blackberry, but it's wildberry. Okay. I'm not really getting the donut note right now. We'll see what happens when we fire it up. Um, the next one, so that is new to me. This is new to me, Deep Blue Sea. And look at the label there. Can you see it's kind of all off kilter? Like, really? Really? Anyway, not going to lie, the label got me. I think this is really cute. It's a little bit textured. Like it does, you feel a little bit of a woven pattern in there or whatever it's called. So this is Deep Blue Sea, which is um, Blue Citrus Waves, Crisp Island Woods, and Fresh Cypress. Ooh, that's nice. Very fresh, very aquatic, uh, very fresh body wash. I would use this as my body wash and I think a man would use this as a body wash, the scent. So if you like fresh scents, that's really nice. Deep blue sea. Then we have um, sun wash citrus. <clears throat> I feel like I've had this in the past. Um, this packaging is pretty. Also has, you can feel it's kind of raised. It has a texture in it that you can feel. Um, this is Sorrento lemons, and uh, I was there in Italy and had some lots of Sorrento lemons and limoncello. Uh, citron and agave nectar. Lemon, citron, and agave nectar. Hmm. I'm getting a light lemon note. I'm not sure what agave nectar what I should be smelling or interpreting from that. I'm getting a light, a light lemon scent. So hopefully on warm, it'll pick up some. I think my contact is misplaced. Okay, let's just push on, shall we? This is iced lemon pound cake. I'm pretty sure I've had this one before. And if I didn't, oh no, no, no. I had the doesn't Bell Better Homes and Gardens have an iced lemon pound cake clam? I think they do. I think that's what I had. Iced lemon pound cake is sugary glazed, sugary glazed icing, pure lemon zest, fluffy pound cake, and whipped cream. 
Well, who doesn't love that? I do love lemon and I do love lemon cake. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting exactly what it says it is, but it's light. So hopefully when we um, light it, it'll come to life. Also new to me is vanilla and peach tea. I thought that was quite summery. Um, this label again is a little textured. And this one is peach tea, sweet vanilla creme and fresh oat milk. Well, there you have it, even the candles are vegan. Oh, that's nice. I definitely get peach tea. Do you know what's actually kind of very similar to um, No, I, I was going to say it's sim they had another candle that was an iced tea one, but it's, I think it was different than this. Very nice. I like that one. And then finally, a favorite. I think I have at least one, maybe two in the closet, Palo Santo. Um, plus, I believe I have a bag of wax that I chopped. So um, I've decided, although it is very cost effective to chop candles and these are easy, easy, easy to chop because they have a straight side, they're a straight sided vessel. So you can put these ones in the freezer for, I don't know, 30 minutes, an hour, a couple hours, whatever. Then um, put a kitchen towel on your countertop and just give it a couple wax on a kitchen towel, not too hard, and it'll pop right out. Then just leave it, Come, let it come back to room temperature. If you try to chop it when it's cold, I mean, of course you can chop it. It's not gonna be pretty chopped. It's gonna be, you know, shards here and there. But if you let it come back to room temperature, a couple hours, don't be in a big rush. Take a butter knife and pull out the wicks. So the wick clips will be here. Pull those out and hope they should come out in one nice long string. And then you'll have a nice, a uh, solid piece of wax to cut into nice shapes. If that's, if you're like OCD and you need to have it looking pretty, let it come to room temperature. If you don't need it looking pretty, have at it, go for it. But anyway, so vanilla and peach tea, oh, we don't have to talk about that. So uh, anyway, Palo Santo. So um, while it is extremely cost effective, especially if you get them on sale. So these are 14.5 ounce candles um, for $12. So that's less than a dollar an ounce. Um, it takes me a long time to go through them because I have so many chopped bags of candles. So the ones that I really, really love and want to treasure, like Palo Santo, I want to really make it last a long time, probably I will continue to chop. Some, like for instance, the vanilla peach tea, I mean, I'll burn it and enjoy it, but when I'm done, I'm done, you know, um, that kind of thing. I don't need to have it, you know, next to my heart forever and ever and ever. So anyway, that is my, oh, let me, didn't, we can talk about this. If you, I love Palo Santo and I, I do love Bath and Body Works blend. Um, Palo Santo wood, warm amber and soft musk. And this is just a very kind of warm, cozy, comforting. It might be a rainy day scent for you or a bedtime scent for you. They're both of those things for me. I just really enjoy it. Um, it's just, like I said, it's just kind of a comfy, cozy kind of scent. So I do like Palo Santo. Okay, friends, that's it for now. Um, and then I have one more video I'm going to do because I just want to knock it all out. And it's going to be what I purchased from the summer collection. And so that's going to be coming up. I'm not sure when it's going to go up, but I'm going to film it right now. So I will see you back in a few minutes. Bye.